Today we're going to look at this guest artist. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I won't try, but he's so pure. Let's get started. All right, Stats is an, an instructor at the Woodstock School of Art, which is in New York, I believe. And I just find him to be one of, one of the, if not the only, pure watercolorist I have ever seen that is living in my lifetime. He is taking watercolor and using it in its absolute purest form. There's no masking fluid involved. There's no overlaying. It is just so, I don't want to say simple because nothing about this is simple, but it's structural and he understands the power of what watercolor can do so well and his choices are exquisite. He seems to be able to simplify forms and edit as he paints. The other thing that I absolutely love about his work is how things don't begin and don't end. Look carefully and you'll see how structures blend into the ground or how structures will blend into the sky. I get the sense when I look at his work of a community, a community of the world that is just united and that man-made objects are no more or less important than the uh, natural world that they are attached to. I get the sense, you know, it almost becomes spiritual in a way, which gets a little geeky, I guess, but it's so peaceful to look at his work. I just admire it so much. And especially, you know, and his use of color, the grays, the grays that he's able to discover and use are so full of energy and color. Nothing is ever flat and everything is so very well designed. Now what I've shown you so far is mostly neutral-ish looking subjects, but the next one coming up is a very colorful subject and quite complicated. And I know I would get way bogged down here, so bogged down. There's so many ways that I could make this a not successful painting. And then when I look at what he does, I just, you know, I just have to sit back in awe and say, there are not that many masters and he is one of them. Um, I'm probably late to the party. He's probably been popular for a really long time and I just haven't been aware of it. Now let's look at some of his still lifes. Look at the power of watercolor there. You know, people always say, oh, what do I do if I get a bloom? What do I do if one form or color blends into another color? You see how he's so not concerned about that. If anything, he revels in it. That is exactly what's happening here. He honors the medium completely and almost in a way I would say surrenders himself to it and becomes in service of it and it makes me feel that he understands watercolor in a relationshiping way that I really aspire to whenever I want or feel like I'm um, stuck in painting I often will look at Stat's work because he just reminds me uh, keep it simple stupid not that he's stupid, that's not what I'm saying at all, but get back to the essential reason for why you chose watercolor in the first place. There had to be a compelling reason, and all I have to do is look at Stat's work, and then I'm reminded that's why I wanted to work in watercolor, because it's water and it's color, as simple as that. And so we'll leave Stat's art work with this piece, which is just so phenomenal in terms of the um, underlying structure of shape. I mean, it's just an honor of shape. So look him up on Facebook or find, I'm sure, I, I, I don't know how he markets his work and all of that, but I just wanted to let you know there's someone fabulous out there and you can be, <coughs> excuse me, and to be aware of him. All right. Thanks for watching.